सच्चिदानंद सामंता जी मान्य अध्यक्ष महोदय मुझे इस बिल पर बोलने के लिए आप समय दिए इसलिए मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ माई पार्टी बीजू जनता दल आई स्टैंड टू सपोर्ट दी पब्लिक एग्जामिनेशन प्रिवेंशन ऑफ ऑनफेयर मीन्स फील्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ऑनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर श्री जितेंद्र सिंह जी आई बिलीव द इंटेंट ऑफ द बिल इज वेरी गुड टू प्रिजर्व द वैल्यू ऑफ द पब्लिक एग्जामिनेशन एज ए टेस्ट ऑफ मेरिट If unfair means at public examinations continue to be very common, like it is today, the aspirants and students believe that they have a right to do so because so many others have done so without being penalised. Cheating leads to delays and cancellation of examination, adversely impacting the prospects of millions of youth. In the absence of any specific law. to deal with unfair means and offences commented in the conduct of public examinations we welcome the legislation from the government of india in this context i would also like to mention in our state odisha always all examinations are conducted with fair means till date no paper leaks etc is being reported like other few states reported frequently in this context also i would like to appreciate the checking malpractice and organized cheating in government recruitment exams proposing a minimum imprisonment and also fine for persons and organizations indulging in such illegal practices common practices like leakage of question paper or answer key directly or indirectly assisting the candidate in any unauthorized manner tampering with the computer network or a computer resource or a computer system creation of fake website to cheat conduct of fake examination issuance of fake admit cards or other letters manipulation in seating arrangements allocation of dates and seats for the candidates to facilitate adopting unfair means in examinations will be controlled because it will now carry punishment and fine for both individual and the service provider including bearing from assignments being given i am from the field of education and i am surprised and shocked by the new ways that some notorious students and ill intentioned people are coming up with every examination season the media reports scandals it has now gone high technology the recent hit cinema 12th fail brings this out in a harsh and real form so this is definitely the need of the time but we need to go to the root cause also merely tackling the menace of corruption is not enough as it is just a symptom of deeper issues in the system the main cause is there is mismatch between the number of aspirants and the number of opportunities that are available learning is conditioned by the proposed examination system if the examination pattern test mostly memory then teaching will ensure that students only prepare for rote memory this is the general pattern we need to address this issue nep 2020 goes a long way in holding it in formative years in a situation where opportunities aspired for are really limited the boundary between the selected and rejected candidates is a simply cut off score it is not unreasonable to imagine that while those selected are deserving there could be deserving candidates even among those rejected the large number of aspirants huge amount of resources spent on them by families is a testimony of their keenness to crack the exam the coaching centers focus on technique use of cracking the exam time management and frequently conduct a series of mock exams to churn out exam smart students the climate of cruel competition is instilled in both schools and coaching centers whereby 
students are taught to view their classmates as rivals. Cheating, despite being unethical, is similarly perceived as an effective shortcut to passing the exam. Desperate parents also go to any extent to see their children emerge victorious in the exam and also in the game. Yes. In this Indian educational setup and context, the element of fear underlies most active activities associated with learning and assessing. The presence of fear is often justified as being important for learning and is used to scare, threaten or intimidate children. Fear associated with consequences of not learning takes precedence over the joy of learning. The exams are more about elimination than selection, thereby enhancing the importance of coaching. Fear is a key component of such exams as implication of success and failure in them are severe. Yes. What are the possible solutions available? Alternate methods, alternative perhaps more humane way of examining students, aptitude and competency needs to be identified. Entrepreneur skill, students should be helped in honing their entrepreneur skills. Meaningful choices, make education more meaningful that supports students to make choices that are not influenced by their social prestige like engineering and medicine and more importantly be given opportunities and supported to develop different facets of their personalities. Responsive education. Make education responsive to employment skills required. However, a unilateral relationship between education simply responding to market needs will do more harm than good. I hope these issues are addressed behaviorally and we stand yes. to support the bill. Yes. And in this regard, I also request Honorable Minister to see that financial punishment and imprisonment should be lessened in case of the students matters. It should be more strict for the agency or the institutes or the centers, those who are really practicing and motivate the students to adopt the unfair means. In case of financial punishment and imprisonment should be less to the students, those who have no knowledge when they adopt this method during the examination. Thank you very much, sir.